sink. Hello and welcome back! I am Lord Ravenwork, and this is Crusader Kings 2 Return of the Jewish Aztecs. Now, before I get into anything, I would just like to uh, remind everyone, and it's re really no secret by now, that one thing I do when playing games like these is I like to run simulations. And what that means, for me at least, is that I play the game just a tiny little bit off camera just to see what's going to happen. And honestly, in a game like Crusader Kings 2, that doesn't even tell you very much because there's a lot of RNG involved in this game. Anyways, I wanted to know whether or not there was any way I could possibly beat the battle that's brewing here in Lorraine. And because of the RNG, I had to run the simulation, like, a lot. And here's something that I think you'll probably find funny. So the very first time I did this battle, the centers went into melee immediately. The enemy center then collapsed, and from there it was just a cakewalk, washing up everything that remained of the Lotharingian army, which, I'll remind you, is made up almost entirely of holy orders and mercenaries, because Lotharingia has no more soldiers living in it. That was the very first time I ran the simulation. It just went so well, and after I won that battle, I went straight here to Neuchâtel. The Amalfitans just fled at the sight of me. I went on to there, assaulted these two holdings, and immediately got enough war score to just win the war right off the bat. It was shockingly amazing just how well it actually went. On that first time, that was a simulation. And because it was a simulation, I was not recording, and I could not just use that whole going perfect thing. If only I'd been recording, because here's the thing. That victory I got that very first time, it was a complete fluke. I kept doing the simulation in over and over again to see if I could recreate it, because like I said, heavy RNG in this game, you can't guarantee anything to just happen for you because it happened once. So I did the simulation over several times just to see if that good luck would hold. It did not. I, I, I did the same simulation over like... Jesus, I don't even know how many times. At least a half a dozen. Maybe as many as a full dozen. I lost count. And not once. And I was switching up my tactics, my troop balancing, generals, all the time just to see if I could somehow nudge the battle in my direction. Not even once past that first time. I just keep kept losing over and over and over and over again. Which, frankly, is what I expected in the first place from a b battle like this. I mean, look at that. They've got more than 5,000 troops against my 4,000 troops. And I've taken a beating. And also, this general, he just kept dying because he's got a, a fucking infection. Jesus. So, yeah. Basically, it's basically it's true what they say. Rn Jesus giveth, and Rn Jesus taketh away. At that time, I think Rn Jesus was sort of fucking with me just for the hell of it. So yeah, going into this battle is a fucking stupid thing to do. We're not going to do that. However, after failing for like the. 12th time or whatever 
trying to fend off this Lotharingian army, I then decided to adopt a different tactic. Running away. But not retreating, mind you. Actually, what I did was I took my army and I set it on this path. Skirting around the enemy army, and if you'll take a look at the times, I'm not going to be running into any of their soldiers. And keep in mind, I still like simulated this tactic about a dozen times. And consistently, the Lotharingians were completely incapable of catching me. At least, until I reached Neuchâtel. But that's where the RNG comes in a bit. See, something I didn't notice until doing these simulations is that I'm not the only one invading Middle Francia. They're also being invaded by this Viking, the Duke of Ferrara, over some inexplicable lands they seem to be holding in Italy. Which means, and... Look, the, uh... War score is still relatively low, but there hasn't been much fighting in the area, which means this war, it started recently, probably just a few months ago. So all of a sudden, I am not the only band of heathens that the Lotharingians want to kill. Which means if Aaron Jesus blesseth us, I might not need to fight any more Lotharingian soldiers at all for the rest of the war. If things go just perfectly, then their 5,000 troops will instead head to Italy to fight the Ferrarans. And I can get two ass assaults down in New Châtel and win the war without having to fight a single other battle. And what determines whether or not I get to be that lucky is entirely on the Aglobit Sultanate. Yeah, that seems random, doesn't it? But here's the thing. Throughout the game of CK2, one thing that's actually fairly consistent is that the Aglobit the Aglobids and Amalfi, at least in this early starting age, fight over Sicily all the time. Now, there's no war going on between them right now, but there will be soon. And see, if the Aglobids invade Sicily before I get my troops to New Châtel, the Amalfitans are just going to take their 1,800 troops and leave. Which is what happened during that first perfect simulation, by the way. Is the Aglobids invaded Amalfi, Amalfi pulled out all its troops from a war it wasn't really very invested in, and I was able to just get here easily. Now, during my simulations, that happened sometimes. Less than half of the time. I mean, the Globid still invaded Amalfi, but again, RNG. I don't know when the invasion's gonna start, whether or not it'll be before I reach New Chatel, entirely determines whether or not I'm gonna have to fight the Amalfitan army. And if I do, I'm also gonna have to fight Lotharingians as well. Which is going to kill me. Well, okay, possibly going to kill me. It might actually be possible for me to... Because I'd been noticing during the simulations that my right flank has been collapsing a lot. So I could, like, put more troops into them, see if that... helps them out a little bit. But if I fight the Amalfitans and the Lotharingians jump on board, I'm not going to stand fare too well in that battle. 
So, ultimately, ultimately, my faith is put entirely in a random, random ass ruler from a country I have absolutely no involvement with. This could go very badly for me. And even if I do win the battle against the Malfi, they could deal enough casualties to me that I can't even assault the holdings. Which is bad. Which is really bad. So... I guess at this point all I can do is pray to our in Jesus and start the game already.